Lori, we love you, Lori. Thank you for making so many great things happen for everybody. Uh, Lori told me you were at 54 when it was 54. Yes. I didn't know that. So you've got to tell me because everybody wants to know Studio 54 from one of the queens, the people who the door flew open for. You know, I was on a lot of covers back then and we had the, the doors right open for us sure. as we walked in. Nobody was on a phone, so you were always interacting, you were dancing, you were having fun, you were doing poppers, you were doing lots of other stuff. Um, would go and dance and dance and dance and dance and then probably not sleep and go do a Vogue cover or Vogue editorial or, you know, we would just all go right to work. So, and we could get oh, away with it because we were young and, you know, no wrinkles. <laughs> young and no wrinkles. Oh my God. And there was no Photoshop. So obviously there were no wrinkles. What was oh, like? No, no, no. They did Photoshop because a lot yeah, of my covers... Right. No, they, a lot of my covers, they wanted my eyes blue because I have green eyes. So they oh, that's were... ugly. Everybody hates green eyes. Get rid of those. <laughs> I mean, so, uh, one of my favorite stories is I was there with Patty Hansen, and um, I always loved these Maude Frison shoes. They were probably, back in the 80s, they were $500. They were gorgeous, but stiletto, huge. And so I would just wear the Maude Frison shoes with, you know, a pair of jeans and a T-shirt, you know. And I was with Patty, and we were hanging out on the side just below the the disc, the, the booth where he plays the music and she took my shoes and she just threw them into the middle of the, the dance floor and I left without my Maude Frison shoes. I don't know, even know how I got home. But, I, um, you know, I remember seeing, you know, the stage, Janice Dickinson dancing across. They had that uh, little bar, you know, like a window washer bar and heard Janice dancing across that. And She's a special unit, that Janice. <laughs> I've interviewed her. I love her. She scares me to death, but I like her. No, oh, I know. Well, we. I wouldn't to... get an Uber with Janice. Nope. <laughs> no, we used to work a lot together because I'm blonde and she's brunette. And, um, you know, it was just, uh, she would say, Nancy, you know, we'd just come in from Food 54 and be at a job. She'd go, Nancy, just put lipstick on. I think you have your makeup on. Don't worry about it. Just put your lipstick on. All junior college in Newton, Mass. And I was discovered there. I was a um, live-in babysitter on the summer, in the summertime. And I was dating the bartender on Cape Cod um, when I was the live-in babysitter. And he was really handsome, of course, and cute. And he modeled, <laughs> he modeled in uh in New York, um, you know, during season, during the fall. So he worked a lot for Mademoiselle Magazine and they said, do you know anybody cute? Um, we, we do a college issue. <laughs> and cute, so, I got somebody more than cute. So he said, well, my girlfriend's kind of cute. And so they said, okay. I went down for an interview with my mom. Uh, remember exactly the dress I wore, um, the shoes I had on. And I went with 200 other girls and I did the interview and they, I got the gig, uh, I got the cover for the August issue of the 10 college girls, and then they gave me a contract to do 10 covers only with Mademoiselle. I graduated from Mademoiselle, then I did tons of self covers, uh, self magazine. You graduate to Vogue magazine, and then I did Italian Vogue, French Vogue, German Vogue, British Vogue, Italian Bazaar. And from the magazines you graduate to, once you're in the magazines which pay nothing, then all the beauty, companies come after you like Revlon and CoverGirl and hair. Yeah, that's where the money comes, yes. Perry Ellis was one of the first guys to, first fashion designers to pick, he only wanted girls in the magazines, which was unusual. Because normally if you're in an editorial girl, you're not a runway girl. But okay. Perry was the first designer to say, I only want the girls in the magazines. And he got Kim Alexis, Kelly Emberg, Esme, you got Janice, me, I mean, tons of other editorial girls to do a show. Usual. I mean, I, Ralph then asked me to be in his show. I was really emaciated and super skinny at the time. And he's like... Well, when you dance nine hours a night and you don't <laughs> sleep, I'm sure your nutrition is it's not protein no. and bananas. Yeah, no, but he... he uh, and I just didn't do well in heels. And I guess I had an off day and he, he kicked me off the show. But Are you serious? Because okay. you had a bad day with heels? Wow. I had a bad day with heels. Going yeah. Nuts. Yeah. I have a, you know, Gia, Gia and I work together all the time. Who? Again, Gia? Gia. Oh, real Gia. The, yes. 
Giorgia. Okay. So you, you will see us in a lot of um, things. Dennis Peel, we worked a lot with Dennis Peel for Vogue. Um, we especially did the collections in Paris um, a number of times together. Um, and she, on one sitting, I remember I was doing a shoot for Vogue, um, the collections with Gia and well, I was with Andrea Blanche, she, she was shooting and Gia was so mean to me. I don't know what she was just like harassing me and just being mean and, and uh, Andrea sent, sent her home. Wow. Andrea Blanche sent her home because she was just not nice. Beside that one story, everybody else is, are still friends to my day. Kim Alexis, Kelly Emberg, Esme, Carol all. I mean, all those girls, there was no competition, nothing, nothing, nothing. Don't forget, we all were discovered. So, you know, we're not like we, we aspired to be models. We were all, Carol all was picked up at, I think, upstate New York, Kim Alexis, upstate New York, Esme out of Boston. Um, Kelly was in Texas or somewhere, you know, and we didn't, we just were like little girls, you know, doing modeling thing. And we, we really had no idea. Kind I did have a dream come true thing. Like, oh, well, it was never it. my, it was never my dream. I wanted to be a ski instructor. You know, really? I didn't want to be a model. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. All right. Yeah, the, the swims from Alcatraz. Um, what? I, <laughs> Wait, you did that Shark Alcatraz uh, Clint Eastwood swim thing movie? Dude, I, I watched that. I've seen people do that and, and monster guys and with boats following them, like, I can't do this. And they pull them out. You did that? Twice. I did it twice. I love swimming open water. I also swam two summers ago from the Statue of Liberty to the Clock Tower in New Jersey in the Hudson River. <laughs> I just did it two years, you know, Are you two years serious? ago. I see you with like Daryl Hannah splash like a mermaid, but here you're doing these Navy SEAL things. Navy SEAL things. No, I know because you know what? I really want to be a Navy SEAL. I really There you do. go. Forget the ski instructor. SEAL Team 7. They took us up to, on a helicopter in the glaciers in Zurich, you know, up in Switzerland. And, you know, we had to get out and do photographs on a glacier. I was not thrilled about that. First of all, I hate helicopters. I hate heights. And we're on a glacier. I mean, you, they could, it's just like, it, it was, so I was petrified, but I didn't, you know, say, no, I'm not going to do it. I was really petrified though. So. Yeah, Here's the thing, you back then, I'm 19, 20, photographers were probably 40 or 50. We got, we got, uh, I'm gonna call it harassed, but back then we didn't think about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had our asses pinched. We said, do you what we do? Let's sleep together. If you, you don't, you know, you have to sleep with me in order to get a cover. Um, you know, constant, constant, touching this, this. We, I didn't think to anything about it. I never slept with a photographer for cover. Um, wow. I actually, I no, I never even slept with a photographer. I don't. Oh well, a couple maybe. <laughs> but <laughs> there must have been a cute one well along the way. Come on. No, no, no. The assistants were more cute than the. No. <laughs> oh, okay. So I like the assistants more. I don't know why. No, no. I the full disclosure. I slept with a couple of photographers, but not for that reason. It was just you know me being young and f having fun, but. Um, sure. But there are girls that, you know, the photographers would sway them into sleeping with them, saying they'd get a cover, they'd never get the cover. But the really who chose who was on the cover were the editors from the magazines. But I heard the photographers would say, I'm going to send bad pictures of you to the editors. Some of them use that leverage that I'm not going to send the good ones so you won't get the cover. I oh, well, I, you know what? I, I, never, I never heard that. It well, never you never took a bad picture, obviously. That's why you never heard it. First cover. Well, Doesn't could, matter if it was big or not. My first cover? Yep. Oh, yeah. Mademoiselle 1978 August issue. <laughs> what is Mademoiselle 1978 August issue? Fantastic. Oh, well, my first great achievement, of course, is my son, George. But, uh, you know, George. He is, George, is, George is just the best. Um, I can't believe I have such a wonderful child because he, I was so crazy and my son is so together and so smart and just works really hard he's wonderful I know you know if I had like 50 more years I, my next career would be a Navy SEAL for sure 100% I'm gonna I'm gonna call them I'll make a call you'll get a, you'll get a weird call from a thief and something and then they'll meet you in a warehouse you're perfect <laughs> you're perfect 
because you'd be undercover. No one would ever guess. Yeah. yeah. Dangerous, smart, clever. James Bond, SEAL Team 6, man. All that Studio 54 <laughs> training paid off. Okay. I have a problem with uh, companies and campaigns using Instagram models because you know what? I'm, I, uh, I'm just like the true, we started as models, we are models. They, they, these Instagram girls, I mean, they, they do all this stuff to their face. They Photoshop, they do everything. They, it's not a model. It's not a model. Not a model. Plastic surgery at 16, and then everything yep. you could imagine, whatever. And people yeah. see you in person, they don't even know who they are. And right. then they have a big following, and the designer buys the following for the attention. Exactly. No, exactly. It's, exactly. It's a pay for play, really. You're buying the audience. It's not your, yeah. you know, hiring yeah. the model. Yeah. And, you know, the whole thing, you know, when back in the day, it was just like real life girls like me and Kim and Kelly on covers, uh, Carol Alt. And then Anna Winter came in and then she wanted to, of course, make more money for the magazine and then started putting only celebrities on. And from there, it what, shot out the window. That's where it went downhill, right? Yep. Yep. Anna, what'd you do? What'd yeah. you do? Um, you know, it's just like there, and, I, and we all said there, I am so blessed to have been on a cover of Vogue because it will never, ever happen again. A, a, like a real person will never, ever get that cover again, ever. Well, you've got Cardi B and Kim Kardashian and, and uh, Kanye on Vogue. And, and it's oh. like, well, wait a minute. I thought there were certain things that were, this is the market for that. I have not anymore. Yeah. 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 No, I no, it's not. It's totally went out the window. I mean, you know, it's just, it's kind of sad, actually. And just the editorial pages that we did back in the day were glorious, 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 yeah. you know. They were like so work of art. It wasn't just some yeah. bloody looking kind of thing in somebody's backyard with a pool. You know, that's, it's crazy. Yeah. Um, I remember when Paris Hilton went down the runway at New York Fashion Week and I said, there we go. We're done with Fashion Week. That's I it. know. So yeah. there was something to the show other than this person had so many followers. Man, I don't yeah. care. That's, that's not entertainment. That's not celebration of fashion or art or creativity in any no. way. I know. I, I agree a hundred percent. That's not what it's all about. It's about what you can do, how you can perform, you know, wh who you are. 